Hi guys, welcome to the Two Dogs Podcast. I'm Dr. Inky. And I'm Dr. Ellie here. And we are two medical doctors who run a weekly podcast. And we have already hit above 120 episodes Ooh, on a weekly basis. Not bad, not bad. Generally, we are two doctors who don't really talk much about medical stuff. Yeah, but this month is a little bit different. It's a special month. Mm-hmm. October is World Mental the Health, Health month. month. Yeah, so, so, so for this month, right, our topics will generally surround mental health. Correct. Right. And last next, week, yeah, last week we spoke about self doubt. Self doubt. Yeah. How to eliminate yes. self doubt. So this week we we'll be talking about something different. Mm-hmm. But I want to give you guys a preview of what's going to happen next week. Next week. Correct. Right. Next week we're going to bring an expert. Yes. All right. Uh, uh, an actual a certified psych- psychiatrist. Uh, psychiatrist. Yeah. Not a psychologist. A psychiatrist. psychiatrist right? Full so, on. Full on psychiatrist. Yes. To speak about mental health. Mental health. Yeah. Right. So. So this week, we are just going to grade. Yeah, we will lay we, the foundation. We will uh, put the red carpet. Yes, we will lay the foundation a little bit. So yeah. that the psychiatrist can walk on to it. Yes. So for today's topic is, what should you do? Yes. All right. What should you do? So you are depressed. Yeah, you are depressed. What should, what you, should do? you do? Exactly. Mm. And I think this this is uh, something that, that is um, uh, an ongoing uh, concern. Yes. A lot of times... Um, Depression is such a, a wide scale, and I yeah, think our, our our doctor next week will talk more about it. Mm-hmm. But depression is such a wide scale, from the feeling of not being happy, mm-hmm. not being uh, fulfilled, yes, uh, to the point whereby you start to have uh, other symptoms, mm-hmm. um, such as tearfulness, yes. uh, inability to sleep, loss right. of appetite, a lot of other depression symptoms. But right from the beginning. The moment that you feel, I think I'm depressed, yes. or I think I'm very sad all the time, what should you do? Yeah. So there is actually a general difference between feeling sad mm-hmm. and depressed, mm-hmm. right? Feeling sad, usually it's um, it's a fleeting emotion. It means it comes and it goes. Yes. But the problem is, when you have depression or mm-hmm. some sort of depression, you feel sad mm-hmm. for sometimes for complete no reason. Yeah. There, there is not much reason you wake up one day and just you're just not not happy. Mm. Yeah, you know, well, it's all of us get get out on the wrong side of the bed today, mm-hmm. but the next day again, so the, same the thing. next day again, mm-hmm. right? And or it could be something like whereby you are happy now, then the next moment you're suddenly un, unhappy. Correct. All right. Or it so, could be past events that has already happened, right? And it has not resolved internally. That's right. Uh, it has not resolved internally. I think the way that we 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 going to define is that. All right. So you 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 have. Uh, your favorite food. Mm-hmm. It drops to the floor. Mm-hmm. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm yeah, sad. I'm sad. Ah, yeah. But later I get another one. I'm 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 okay already. Yeah. But someone who's depressed who already got the new one tomorrow will think about yesterday's issue. Yeah. Oh, I dropped it yesterday. Will I drop it again today? Mm. Yeah. So yeah. so I think um, that that is as simple as a nutshell. We'll let our doctor friend do it, the psychiatrist friend do it in a more detailed version. Mm. But to keep. Uh, to get a foundation laying. Yes. In the beginning, <clears throat> right now, if you feel that you are not happy, you are feeling this uh, consistent unhappiness, unhappiness. Unhappiness. What is the next step you should do, or what you should be seeking out um, to to get yourself on the right path? Mm. Now, I think the, the the main thing that uh, we started this this topic is that um, there is a growing trend of people talking about depression, mm-hmm. and I think it's good because it's good, it's good because people are opening up. Yes. Once upon a time, I think maybe 20, 30 years ago, talk claiming yourself to be depressed is actually like a taboo. Yeah, so depression has always been a very taboo topic, mm. right? It's always been 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 associated with uh, with someone going crazy, mm-hmm. right? With um, with uh, sharing things with 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 strangers which you shouldn't share, mm-hmm. all right? And depression is actually a lot of times is underdiagnosed. Correct. Now, if you actually look at statistics, right, you realize, hey, more and more people are depressed every year. You know, yep. so, so there's so many people being diagnosed on a yearly basis. However, it's not that there are more people depressed. Mm. It's just that now people are starting to reach be out. Be more aware. They have to be more aware yeah. and starting to reach out for help. And Correct. now there are so many tools yes. that can actually help someone who is depressed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Who's, and, then, and then that stigma of visiting a psychiatrist 
psychiatrist. It's not it's, as bad yeah, it's not anymore. as bad as last time. Yeah. Right? Once upon a time, you couldn't visit a psychiatrist because if you visit the psychiatrist, yeah. you are considered as cuckoo. Yeah, you're considered as cuckoo mm. and there's very high likelihood you you'll be on medication you, for long term. Yeah. You know, at some point in time, you'll be hospitalized. Yeah. Or so most people ended up going to a psychologist. Yes. Uh, you know, like a counsellor. It's like the the, the, the progression is counsellor, then yeah, psychologist. Psych- yeah, psychologist. And then psychiatrist, yeah, psychiatrist is like the end spectrum before, yeah, uh, before you, you get yourself um, institutionalised yes. or, 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 or be on medication. Yes, correct, correct. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so because of the increase of awareness, um, there's also an increase in misinformation. Ah, that's right. There's that's an increase right, of right. misinformation. More people who are not qualified to give opinion, are giving but they opinion. themselves are, 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 are probably um, uh, people who undergo yes. uh, some depression. Yeah, they, they are probably undergoing or have somehow overcame depression. Correct. So they are sharing a lot of opinions and a lot of times people like to listen to this because it reaches and touches them mm-hmm. more personal on mm-hmm. a personal note because it's like, um, a, 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 a sister in arms or a brother in arms you also went through this I'm also going through this I relate with you I feel you bro I feel you sis so however uh, not all the time I would say uh, they might be the most uh, reliable qualified, yes mm. definitely not qualified but whether reliable is another thing also mm. because some of them again everyone's spectrum is different that's right they could have been just mild you could have been moderate so if they told you oh I did this and I totally f- became okay mm. All right, and, and without getting a proper diagnosis, uh, you did the same thing, then it didn't happen just as well for you, um, then you might start having more self-doubt. That's correct, that's correct, mm. that's correct. So I think it's okay to listen to some of these people mm-hmm. for general awareness. General awareness, general awareness. Correct. Hey, you know, yeah, so these are, the, these are some of the telltale signs of depression. Mm-hmm. And then some of the awareness is, hey, what did this person do? This person reached out to, 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 to a psychologist mm-hmm. or a psychiatrist or this person did some self-help thing. Yes. Right? So, in, so there's awareness that, hey, you know, I can actually do all this stuff. These are my options. Mm. I can actually do all this stuff to actually go seek help. Yep. But I think the main thing about, about depression is you, you need to understand that, yes, that you, I think you have to own up to the fact that yes, I something's am bothering you. Yeah. Some, yeah. Something's bothering me. Something's bothering me. Some, something's bothering me, and I need help. Yes, right. I need help yes. get to to actually get get out of it. And sometimes it's not easy to get out of it because when you're depressed, there is mm. a spiral, right? Mm. When you undergo this spiral, you it will come to a point, right, whereby you just do not want to wake up or you don't want to get out of it or you don't want to speak to anyone. Mm. All right. So, but if let's say you're in the beginning of the spiral, you know, the re- you realize that say hey, something's going on, it's better to reach out to someone. Now, it's difficult to reach out to the experts directly sometimes. Correct. Right. Correct. There's the stigma, there's the taboo, there's, and there's cost. Yeah, and and it's cost. It's cost. Well. Let's, let's let's be frank. And if you want to go to a a, a government uh, or an NGO, the mm. waiting list is going to be long. Yes. Correct. Right. The time spent is going to be a bit shorter. Yes, all right. right. Uh, and because the crowd is much larger, the pool of, of, of people that they have to see, it's not that they don't want to see you. Yes. It's not that they don't want to give you uh, uh, affordable health care, but there will be a larger There's pool of people large, going there. Problem. And therefore, the amount of time spent is not going to be the same as someone who is on a one-to-one private session, which inevitably will cost a little bit more. Right. Yeah. So before you reach that spiral, I would say, uh, as what Inky said, reach out. A lot of times we don't, um, people who are, or even myself, I, I've been through it uh, once upon a time, is that we don't like to reach out. We, yeah. we feel ashamed. Yes, correct. We feel that, you know, um, I don't want to bother you. Lah, you know, it's not your problem. It's mine. And I, I feel it's very petty. I don't, it's not that I don't tell you about it. I scared I bore you to death. That's right. That's uh, right. We are afraid what other people feel. Yeah. And because of that, um, you enclose yourself. You, 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 you keep it inside. And the, 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 the downside about it, the spiraling factor is that it compounds. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It actually gets worse. It, it gets worse. Mm. Um, and I, I, I've encountered um, a friend whereby the issue becomes so bad, even when I try to reach out, they run in circles. Yeah. As in like, they try to avoid. Uh, they avoid, like, then they'll talk about it, then, and then, then they'll say, oh, actually, I'm feeling much better now. And then uh, all of a sudden, they'll just um, turn it against, and, uh, against me and say, you know what? You don't really understand what I'm going through, mm. right? 
Um, nobody understands. In fact, I don't even know why I'm talking to you about this. And this is within the same conversation whereby in the beginning, uh, they were happy to have someone to, to listen to, but within the next couple of minutes, they can spiral out and, and, and say things which are actually very hurtful. Mm. Um, so before you reach that, because uh, I think we spoke about this last week, is that if you have a problem and you don't solve it, it compounds. Yeah, it gets worse. A small thing, which is only one issue, gets compounded and you think it's a very big issue. Right. So in the beginning, as early as possible, if you're unhappy, speak to someone. Yes, speak to someone. Get it solved as early as yeah. possible. Yeah. Or so at least voice it out as early yes, as possible. Yes, a lot of times you can reach out to very close family or friends first. Mm-hmm. All right? But let's say if you think that, hey, it's, it's this particular topic, I, I really don't want to bother people. Yep. There are actually groups outside that yes. you can actually, actually reach, re- reach mm-hmm. out to. All right? There are hotlines that you can actually call mm-hmm. to actually reach out to, 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 to people. Yep. And then just have a brief conversation with them. Mm-hmm. Again, you don't have to speak to them for hours and hours. Mm-hmm. You can speak to them for even five to ten minutes. Correct. A very Correct. simple, short conversation mm-hmm. Do and then from time to time, right? You can always re you, you can always call them back again. Mm-hmm. Check you, know, you you can always check back with, with them. Just call them again, and then just to update them on your current status. Yeah, I think I and and trust me, you you are not you are not boring these people. You are not you know you you you're not taking up their 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 precious yeah, time. Correct. They're there. They're there. They're there. They're, they're, they're there sincerely there to help you. Yes. So so make. Make full use of of uh, the facility yes. and the time that they have already allocated right. to give it to you um, to open up yourself, right. um, because opening up is probably one of the hardest things mm. to do. Um, next is actually um, to to look for support groups. Yes, correct. And just sit there quietly and listen. And just listen. Listen. A lot of times, we feel that we need uh, we want to voice out, but we're afraid. Okay, we're afraid of what people might say or what people might judge. When you're in a support group, there will be people who are there for much longer than you. Then you realize you're not the only person who's alone in this, in this struggle. Mm-hmm. And that is great because you no longer feel you're isolated. So sitting in a support group and not even voicing out anything is perfectly fine. Yes, that's right. Because you're in a like-minded um, uh, community who's there to help you. Who's there and you can witness how when someone else talks about it, what kind of support they get from other people, what kind of reaction people give, so that you will feel, maybe it's easier for me to open up. Then you realize this group, this, this close-knit group, are actually not going to judge me. Yes, that's right. And, and I think when you are not feeling happy, being judged, uh, being pushed aside, mm-hmm. being ostracized is one of the worst feelings to have. Correct, 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 correct. All right, next up. If let's say you are shy to meet people, mm-hmm. right, face to face, there is actually digital help nowadays yeah. with yeah. the advancement of technology. Yes, there is actually a lot of apps out mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. whereby you have qualified psychologists, clinical psychologists, and even psychiatrists yep. on certain apps. Yeah, so you don't have to actually meet them face to face. You don't have to drive all the way to to their clinics. Correct. You just download the app, mm-hmm. register an, an account. I think it takes a couple of minutes only. Mm-hmm. And you know, key in mm-hmm. what what you feel it's the issue, mm-hmm. and the app itself will pair you with yep. a psychologist yep. or a psychiatrist, depending on 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 which level you think you need, and then they will reach out to you. Mm-hmm. All right, and th- and I and I like this particular digitization of this particular help is because now something which is so taboo, yep, you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Correct. You don't have to drive out or, or to go in an office whereby everything seems so strange, mm-hmm. right? Meet strangers in, yep. the, in, in, in the reception and afraid what people might think of you as you walk into the, in, in, into the office or into the clinic. Mm-hmm. This is done from the comfort of your own home Correct. whereby everything is familiar to you. You're in your safe space. That's the word I was about You're to tell. You're in your safe space. The safe space. Yes. That is the most important thing where you are in this zone whereby you are in control. Yes. You're in full control and, and sometimes... Just being, let's say, in your bedroom, on yeah. your bed, with your comfort pillow, yeah. that is your safe zone. Yeah. And that's the part whereby you feel most vulnerable, but you also feel it's the most safest time yeah. to open up. Yep, correct. So you're, you're in a safe space mm-hmm. and you're speaking to someone that will give you a year, uh, uh, who, 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 who will lend you a year, yep. right? And at the same time, is able to guide you correct. out correct. of this particular issue that you're in. Yes. So, guys... Girls, if, if that is something that you're going through, please realize there are digital apps. Yes. There are 
um, things which are cross boundaries, yes, no, no borderless, and and if you don't like the ones from your own country, your own country, yeah, you just download something, down, from download something from, from foreign, country. yeah, yes. you might have to pay a small fee in a different currency, mm-hmm. but again. You have different opinions. You have people who have different perspective, and you 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 don't have to worry that in case they might know you. Correct. Yeah. So Correct. so make full use of this. All right. Um. Next one is when you are actually uh fully ready, mm-hmm. actually seek formal help. Yes. Seek formal Correct. help. So sometimes digital apps, it still has a slight informality to it. Correct. But if that already solves your problem, great. But if not, sometimes it has to dwell a little bit deeper. You might need um, the care of a human touch. Correct. Someone who you see physically. Um, so, so some people do feel better when they see a face mm-hmm. on a regular basis mm-hmm. uh, or they see someone and they want to judge whether the person genuinely cares or is that person non-judgmental. Mm-hmm. Um, so that can be another step forward. However, make sure you find the correct person to get correct. it done with. Um, I think we were going to be asking if there's a registry for it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, so we'll, we'll let you know in the next couple of weeks. In fact, by next week, we'll know already. Yeah. If there's a proper registry that you can search in Malaysia. Or I think, in, no, I think in Malaysia, there is a registry. I'm, I'm very sure no, there has to be. You, you, you can actually undergo, so, so all psychiatrists in Malaysia have to undergo, training. Have to, have to undergo um, um, formal training mm-hmm. and they're all registered under the, the NSR, which, yeah, is, the, the, which is the National Specialist, National Specialist Register. Yeah. Mm. But if you're talking about psychologists, I think there is no formal registry yet. Ah. All right, so for, psycho- for psychologists or clinical psychologists, we might be wrong. Yeah, we, or we might be wrong. Mm. Or maybe there's a society of, yeah. of psychologists out there with an entire list. I, I might be wrong. Yeah. Right. And even in some, some countries, I, w- I would say in certain countries, they already have a list. Correct. So you can actually search for for, for 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 someone in your town or mm-hmm. in your city or in the state, right? So that so that you can actually have access to all But from the medical point of view, we will vouch that if you're looking for a psychiatrist, psychiatrist. Um, search, you can just Google NSR.org. Yeah, N- yeah, yeah. 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 NSR. NSR. National Specialist Registry. Registry. And then you can actually search. Well, this, yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. So there's a drop box there whereby you can you can you can filter through uh, any specialization. Any specialization. Any specialization. You, uh, you, 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 want a, a, you want a cardiologist, a cardiologist yeah, whatever cardiologist, it is. Yeah. You know, anything you can just type. The only thing you won't find it. inside there is the aesthetic list. Yes, correct. Yeah. There will be a different topic a different day. Yes. Yeah. Right. In the meantime, um, if you're looking for a qualified psychiatrist, that is probably where you want to go. Then you can list out and you can cross reference with whatever that you search online. Right. Sometimes. Um, some people claim that they are psychiatrists. Perhaps they are. They're qualified in a different country, but when they want to come to Malaysia, they actually need to register with the Ministry of Health. They have to get themselves registered uh, to be able to call themselves as a certified practicing psychiatrist in the country. And that's where you, uh, you can find out at NSR, uh, National Specialist Registry. All right. So I hope this topic has been helpful for a lot of you. Right. right. Paves the way for Paved next way. week's topic. Yes. whereby we'll be having a psychiatrist in the show talking to us about depression about depression yeah. and also from um, different different aspects perhaps right. the career wise also right. Mm. right all right so until then um, have yourself a good weekend have yourself a great weekend uh, do spread some love and cheer to other people yeah, definitely. Um, especially now that you've heard this um, take up some um, extra love to, to, to show to someone else mm-hmm. who might need your help or if you identify anyone who's not uh, a little bit down under the weather cheer them up a little all right, until then, we'll see you next week with our psychiatrist. It's us signing off, Dr. Ali here. And I'm Dr. Inky, and have a, have a good weekend.